Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, E-mini futures, daily chart. And thanks to everybody who came out to the webinar yesterday. The recording is up. If you want to hear, you know, 15 minutes of, of what I really think about where we are now and where we're headed on this, uh, certainly more detailed than what I'm about to give you now, check out the recording. It's up on my Twitter stream. It's up on the PrincetonTrader.com website. We're going to do another uh, another webinar uh, next Wednesday after the close, same time, 4.30. So I hope everybody can be there. What I talked about yesterday, and, and it's really nothing has changed in the overnight, is uh, the bears have an opportunity now to push the market lower. We have been chopping around with 100-day exponential moving average support there, the yellow line, for the past four days. We closed on the lows yesterday. We've got a retrace up higher, the, the same one we discussed on the webinar yesterday. We're currently bumping up against the first area of resistance that we identified, which was the daily pivot, uh, 2017 half. The other area would be a retest of the 200-day exponential moving average up at 23 and change. If the bears are going to push the market lower, then one of these areas will need to prove to be resistance and then we will need to make lower lows as we go through and in taking out the prior day low down in, in 2108 i'm sorry 2008 uh, they can begin the process of you know doing a a decent pullback you know it, Maybe this pullback only goes to the 50-day exponential moving average. The bears have done themselves a lot of damage, a lot of technical damage during the course of the last couple of weeks. If they get the ball rolling, though, there's no reason to think why we would not go down and, and, and test the mid-band down at 1973. This move higher has done a lot of things. What this move higher has not done is really get the upper... Bollinger Band on the daily chart into play, which tells me with no upper Bollinger Band engagement, with no um, ability to hold the 200-day exponential moving average as support on a consistent basis, that the bears still have a chance to ultimately control the tape on longer-term time frames. So, the Bears have a real opportunity today if they can just do something that they haven't been able to do for the last two weeks, which is to follow through. They have not been able to follow through at all. They had a day yesterday. They need to put together another day today. And if they're really going to do this right, they need to put together another day tomorrow. The Bears have not earned any days off. They cannot stop. They need to push. And they need to get the, um, the bulls on their heels. Now, as far as the bulls are concerned, here's our close yesterday. And the bears had a day. That's a series of higher lows, and we closed on the lows. Now, we've migrated back up to this dotted line here, which is the daily pivot at 17.5. Between Draghi and everything else, we've, the tape's jumping around a little bit, uh, and you've seen it try to pull back a little bit. But what, what is left below here? The bulls' two friends, the weekly pivot, and the 100-day exponential moving average. They need to hold this area. The bulls need to hold this area today, hop back over the 17 half, hop back over 23. And I tell you, if they can do that, there's a squeeze up here. You will see the bears kind of say, oh, yesterday was a one-off. We've done this before. And they'll start to head for the hills. So what the bears have to do is seal this area as resistance. If they can do that, they can then probe down to some of these uh, some of these lower areas of potential support. So, you know, the Bears have an opportunity. They need to capitalize on it. Okay, everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. If you like what you heard yesterday, if you want to come trade this stuff with us, we would love to meet you. we got a great bunch of people in there. And, uh, you know, we look forward to having you for a free trial for a couple of weeks. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.